I am Elder Benjamin R. Keeling, and this story is about Prophet William Saunders Crowdy. Uh, I am a descendant of this story. I, William S. Crowdy, am a prophet of God sent to the whole world, but it seemed very hard for me to understand that I must talk to the general world at first, when afterwards I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying, as he has so said unto Ezekiel, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, and to all nations of the earth that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. For they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, not Elder Crowdy, nor any other man or minister, but thus saith the Lord God, who is supreme above all and in all, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, yet shall they know that there hath been a prophet among them. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, I was born in slavery on August the 11th, 1847 at Charlotte Hall, St. Mary's County, Maryland, to Basil and Sarah Ann Nellie Henson Crowdy. When I was 16, I ran away from, from the plantation to escape the hardships of slavery. I changed my name from Wilson to William Saunders Crowdy. I enlisted in the Union Army from 1863 to 1866 during the Civil War. Later, I moved to Kansas City, Missouri, where I met and married Lovey Yates Higgins in 1881. Uh, we had three wonderful children. Uh, we took advantage of the federal homestead law, and I laid claim to 160 acres near Guthrie, Oklahoma, in September 1891 during the Oklahoma, Oklahoma land rush. Uh, I was a farmer, cook, Baptist digging, and ardent mason when God revealed himself to me on Tuesday, September the 13th, 1892 in a dream then spoke to me in visions God caused me to start preaching on street corners in Oklahoma and in Kansas establishing tabernacles in each town and city I went into Texas then came east to Chicago I formally organized on November the 8th 1896 the Church of God and Saints of Christ I went to Detroit, Canada, upstate New York, New York City, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. In the summer of 1903, I journeyed to Nansenman County, Virginia, where a man asked me if I wanted to buy some land. I said no, but I took five paces, and the Lord said to me, buy it for the saints. You see, I said no because I already own 160 acres in Oklahoma. But God said to me, it will be a home and a refuge in the time of trouble. So I bought 40 acres of land in this great dismal swamp area. Additional lands will be purchased and it will become Belleville, Virginia and spiritually Canaan land. As a descendant of this story, I can tell you that what happened in 1903 and the vision that Prophet Remus Crowdy had did come to pass. And in the years followed, uh, the, we went from 40 acres all the way up to 950 acres. And there was everything on the land, uh, uh, baseball fields, tennis courts, basketball courts. Uh, it, there, there were uh, residents uh, for people to live in. Uh, there was an old folks home. Uh, there was a boys dormitory, a girls dormitory for those individuals that, that were having troubles in their lives. And they had a sacred and sanctuary place to go and live and live a peaceful life. I thank God for the coming of Prophet Remus Crowdy and for the work that he accomplished.